we just hooked into a big fish. Holy smokes, he's screaming out line. What in the world did we just hook into? Oh my gosh, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. What's going on everybody? Nick from 618 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. In this episode, we are heading to an awesome new spillway that I've only been to one time and there was a ton more exploring to do. I asked if you guys would like me to return to this spot. A lot of you said yes, so we are making the two hour drive and the goal for today is simple and that is to catch a monster fish. All of these thresholds can go me down Push through the crossroads and I hit the ground that drive took what felt like an eternity, but we have finally made it to the spillway, and it has been a long, long time since I have fished a spillway that actually has water flowing over it. That is a great sign. I cannot wait to get started. I've got a few different bait options, and one in particular that I am excited to try out for the first time. I, of course, brought night crawlers. I got some frozen cut bait, and here is the bait that I'm talking about. They are TV bait shrimp. They were in the bait fridge at the local Casey's where I buy my night crawlers. But the funny thing about this packaging is that I guess you can actually eat these yourself as well. I don't know if I try that, but they have nutritional facts on the back and everything. But either way, I'm excited to use these to try to catch a fish out of this spillway. Honestly, they do not look terrible and they don't smell bad at all. They smell like regular shrimp you would buy at the grocery store. Let's go ahead and rig up one of these shrimp on a Carolina rig and cast it out there. Alrighty, that's looking pretty good if I say so myself. Here we go, first cast. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just crashed my drone. I heard a big thud. Oh, there's my drone. Yikes. For the fun of it, let's go ahead and see if this thing still works. Take off. No way, you guys. Please check it on the map. It actually still works. Okay, there's a tape. Sling has the bait. There we go, fish on. All right, first catch is a little freshwater drum. Let's go ahead and keep this guy to use for bait. This is a nice looking bait. Let's toss it out there. There we go. Fish on. That's a decent fish. Oh, awesome. We just caught a decent little drum. A lot bigger than that first one. See you later, buddy. Let's go ahead and try a little bit closer to the middle of the spillway. Last time I was here, this water was quite a bit higher, which would have made fishing from this spot very difficult, but not today. So let's go ahead and toss the bait out right here. All right guys, so I picked up the shrimp. There we go, fish on. Oh, yes. There we go, you guys. We just caught a catfish. Last time I was here, I was not able to catch a single catfish, but we just caught a channel catfish with a piece of that shrimp. See you later, buddy. That channel catfish was by no means a monster, but on my first trip out here, I was not able to catch a single catfish. So catching that guy was a great sign. And the cool thing was he picked up that piece of shrimp. If he was living out there, there could be some monsters living out there as well. Let's go ahead and get another bait in the water. Here is how I caught that catfish with the shrimp. I've got it on my small bait hook. I'm tossing it out there weightless, and that dude picked it up fairly quickly. Let's go ahead and toss this one back out there. Oh, 
there's a nice fish. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, you guys. We just hooked into a big fish. Please stay on. Holy smokes, he's screaming out line. What in the world did we just look into? I am outgunned, and that's an understatement. I hope we can at least see what this is. All I know at this point is that it is massive. All right, it is right here in front of me. Holy cow, what in the world? Oh my gosh, it's a monster carp. I think this could be a new personal best carp, you guys. We need to get this guy in the net. There we go. Yes. Holy cow. This is a monster common carp. This might be a new personal best. We have to get a weight on this guy. My previous personal best common carp was just over six pounds, 9.65 pounds. All right, let's go ahead and let this awesome fish go. See you later, buddy. That fish weighed 9.65 pounds inside the net. The net weighs 1.88. That fish weighed 7.77 pounds, meaning that was a new personal best common carp, and I caught him with the ultralight. What an absolutely epic catch. I've caught some really nice fish on my ultralight, but that fish right there ranks up near the top of my favorites. And he was living in this spillway, which is cut off from the rest of the river, so cool to have caught such a big fish out of there. And if he's living in there, I'm sure there are some other big fish living in there as well. But as I promised in the beginning of this video, I wanted to do some more exploring at this spillway. So I think it's time to go a little bit further downstream. I was just walking downstream. I'm actually quite a ways down from the spillway, but I saw some big fish foraging right along the bank. I'm gonna see if I can get them to go for my bait. All right guys, there's a take. There we go, fish on. Oh my gosh, nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Holy smokes, you guys. Oh. Very powerful. If this guy decides to go downstream, I'm gonna have to chase him. He is on the opposite side as me right now and he shows no intentions of coming this way. What in the world are we hooked into? I've seen so many big fish surrounding me. I tried sight fishing some of these big fish and they were not having it. So I tossed my bait in the deep water and this dude just crushed it. He is strong. Strong, strong fish. Oh, easy, easy. Dang. This fight has been going on for quite some time and I still have yet to see what I'm hooked into. I do, however, know that it is big. Oh, he's at the surface. Okay, we need to get this guy in the net. There we go, in the net. Holy smokes, you guys. It is another really nice common carp. This guy is missing a gill plate. That is so strange, I've never seen that before. 8.1 pounds. If I would have caught this guy before that last fish, this would have been a new personal best common carp. What an incredible fish. See you later, buddy. Fishing has been terrible lately, but that was not the case at all for today. Today was an epic day of fishing. And if I would have caught that second carp before that first one, I would have broken my personal best common carp twice in a single day. So needless to say, I will be back out here because this creek coming off the spillway is seemingly full of giant fish. I had a lot of fun today. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I'd really appreciate it. If you'll have a thumbs up, possibly think about subscribing if you haven't. I will catch you guys on the next one.
Oh no. Oh, that's unfortunate. I just crashed my drone. To say that I am shocked that this thing still works would be an understatement. Now obviously it's uh, okay now it's beeping. I don't know what that means. 